Hello everyone and welcome to the Clean and Jerk technical model task. What I will try to do is breaking down the Clean and Jerk lifting te technique in seven phases and then examine my Clean and Jerk mistakes. So I would be happy to receive even some feedback from you guys. So the seven phases are the starting position, the first pull, the transition phase to power position, the second pull, the catch, the front squat to standing and finally the split jerk or squat jerk but in this case we will examine the split jerk, deep drive and recovery. Starting position, the athlete looking forward, the feet are hip wide directly under the bar, grasp the bar with the hook grips, the arms are straight with the shoulders slightly in front of the bar and the scapula retracted, the back is flat and the hips are higher than the knees. On the first pull, the knees and the hips extend and the knees move back using the legs, hips and back to lift the weight. The bar is close to the shin bone and the knees but not touching. The arms remain straight, the shoulders over the bar as the weight goes from midfoot toward the heels, as we can see. Then we got the transition phase that is the end of the first pull and the power position where the athlete extends back and torso, the hip starts to extend bar mid tight. And here, as you can see from the image, the second pull and the catching phase, where the bar moves quickly, there is a triple extension of knees, hips and ankle, and the shoulder shrug in this moment. The bar should be close to the body, as the athlete shrug the shoulders, the bar is slightly up and forward. In the catching phase, after it is completely extended, the athlete goes under the bar in a front squat position, the feet are usually wider than the starting position and the back is straight. And the last uh, two phases, uh, the front squat to standing and the um, split jerk. As you can see uh, here on the front squat going to the standing position is important to keep the elbows high and the back straight with the bar. Let's watch another time. So elbows high, the back is straight with the bar. And finally, we have uh, the last phase, the split jerk. First, deep, flexing the hips, the knees and the ankles, still maintaining a vertical torso. And then, during the driving phase, extend the arms, pushing the bars up with the elbows locked and drop under the bar with a split stance and equal weight between the two legs. And finally, the last phase, the recovering phase, where the feet come back together. Okay, so after explain the technical model, now I want to show you my clean and jerk technique and try to point at my mistakes. As you can see from the video, there are some main issues on which I'm trying to work. The first thing that I've noticed is that even if my starting position seems quite right, as you can see on the next footage, on the first pull is my back doing the lift and not my legs. And this maybe can explain uh, by my quotes weakness. And uh, there also seems that my hips come up too fast. And during the second pull there is not a complete extension of my knees and my shoulders uh, they don't shrug at all and maybe it's because the weight is too heavy for me uh, but my knees shift forward and I do not catch in a deep front squat position uh, and finally on the split jerk my elbows are locked and my back straight but my split stance doesn't look quite stable as the weight is shifted forward so it seems like the, the front leg have to carry the, the main weights I hope you guys enjoyed the video, uh, I would appreciate some feedback.